Okay, hi there guys. Um, welcome to uh, this VB.net tutorial about developing library management system. Um, so basically, last time we worked on the uh, student class. Okay, so here I'm opening the development steps file. Okay, so um, we reached up to um, the option where we have to add <coughs> uh, add a new student. Now we need to work on modifying student information and removing student information. Okay, so um, we need to work on these two. Okay, basically we are 53% progress. Okay, so uh, using the same technique, we will add an edit student form. So add Windows form. Okay. So this is dialog. Edit student form. There we go. Okay. So we have this one. Um edit student information okay this is the title um this let's go to add student form oops not this one I want to go to the design there we go so what are we gonna do we will use the same um set of controls okay I'll remove that click here, right click and paste okay so we got this problem okay so it's almost the same okay uh, need to set the tab index it's tab index 0 tab index 1 um where is that tab index two tab index three tab index four and uh wait a second tab index five what is that um Index five, tab index six, and tab index seven. There we go. Okay, so this seems to be working fine. Um, next, we need to go to add student from this one. I'll have to copy some of the code over here. So this is the where's the load event? So wait. Um, this part will be used okay this one is used for validation so I will just copy this part and go here <coughs> this sub is used to save changes okay um, we want to use these two because we, we removed the buttons so th the code for this subroutines is not needed anymore okay so now what we need to do actually is um, going to the load event so where is the edit this edit okay this method is used uh, to fill the GUI so what we need here is the following public student obj as um, library management system dot student class okay so what's gonna happen is uh, when you create this window you will you will put uh, a student object here and the information the student object will be displayed into the graphical user interface so let's go to this one 
So the first ones, uh, we will fill the student name, student identification, the year, and the contact and email. Okay, so here we will say me dot student <coughs> student name dot text equal student obj dot uh, get student name. There we go. Okay, and me dot student uh, contact dot text equal student obj dot get student contact and me dot student um, email dot text equal student obj get student email and me dot student uh, what do we have for the name uh, student here dot text equal student obj dot get student here okay so here um, so this is very easy now, these statements, uh, now when we click on the OK button, this statement will be used in order to check uh, that everything is fine. What are we going to do next is update the object. So let's go to this one. Uh, we will copy some of the code over here. Yeah. We will just copy this part. Copy. Um, I'll close this and uh, yeah control V now instead of using this the dimension student object as uh, I will use the original one the original object and uh, if you check the code we are just updating the fields okay now instead of insert we will say update DB so this is gonna check and see uh, if everything's fine, updating student. Okay, ta ta ta. Uh, this should be it. Uh, let's go to the next one. Um, we will just say b dot dialog result equal cancel. Okay, this get executed when you want to cancel the update. Okay, <coughs> I know it's silly, but I like. Um, writing these anyway. So let's go to main window. So we have students over here, and uh, yeah. So we have add student. Uh, let's add an edit student. Edit student. So what we need to do is check if the data grid view um, is selecting a student right now. So this is data grid view number four. You can see the name here. Okay, so let's go back to this one. All we have to do use to edit student info. <coughs> so check if student is selected. So if dgv4 dot selected rows dot count equals zero, then exit sub. There we go. After checking that uh, a student is being selected, we will load the information. So get student ID. So I believe, let's open the database. There we go, tables. Okay, um, this is students, right? There we go. Um, columns, yeah, student ID. So dimension student id as string equal dgv4 dot selected rows of zero dot cells of student sutd student id dot value there we go something like this so we get the id next we need to load the student info from db so dimension student student obj as a new uh, library management system the student class now if not student obj dot load from db <coughs> uh, <coughs> if we are having a problem loading uh, we need to pass dbms followed by student oh gosh student id then 
uh, we will just display an error message right so all we have to do is msg box error while loading student std information there we go uh, critical or okay error there we go and we'll say exit sub if all is fine we will create the interface create the edit window dimension window obj as a new edit student form next we will pass the the student information into that window so we will say window obj dot student obj equals student obj okay so this is the student obj in the window and this is the student obj we just created so it's passed to there and the window will know how to display the information and do everything for us so if window obj dot show dialog equal ok in that case you will just need to update the information so we will just copy this and paste it here ok now if the update <coughs> ok so if all is fine yeah. so let's save this and hope it works. Okay, uh, I think it is Smith ninety nine one two three. Go. Okay, let's go to students. There we go. So I will go to Todd and edit the student information. Okay. So it seems that the student identification is not being filled. I will have to work on that. Let's work on that. Um, edit student form. Yeah, I forgot to fill it. So me dot student uh, actual it's identification dot text equals student object dot get student identification. That's why I will run this again. Um, Smith ninety nine one two three. Why Smith and why ninety nine? I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. So we have the information here. You can check it. So this is Michael ninety nine the year okay so i will change this to identification okay the year is the second year contact uh, okay so uk uh i will make this a b and hit ok button so you can see the information is now changed so the update is working perfectly fine uh no problem so let's save this uh let's go to the excel file and um update that okay so we need to work on the next step which is um, yeah <coughs> okay we need to work on the next step the next step is uh, removing the student information okay so I will stop the recording and start it again just to get rid of the um, audio shift right to click and okay um, so now continuing we will need to we need uh, to remove the student okay so let's go to our window we already have the code so we just put a minus sign here and we click here and remove student student gosh stud student okay there we go so um I will use the same style here. Let's go back to this one. Control C. Uh, let's go back to this. Du -du 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 -du. As you can see, I'm doing lots of copy and paste, just modifying a few things because we already did most of the work and we are just repeating things. Remove student info. There we go. So, if data grid view this is a student is being selected if data grid view for uh, the selector that count equals zero exit now instead of this we have student obj new uh, student class okay so this is going to be what 
student student ID. We will get the student ID from here. This is data grid view four. This is gonna be student ID. No problem. So here this is gonna be student obj dot load from db. This is gonna be student oh okay. I did something wrong I guess here. Okay. D N T. Okay, there we go. So D Replacing two letters all the time. We are while loading student confirm stu D E N T E N T. What's wrong with me today? Okay. So now delete the object. So student obj dot remove from db uh, while deleting student confirmation no problem now full dgv so um, what we have to do is student class dot full dgv with student info there we go and this is going to be dgv4 uh, while displaying student information there we go and we will save this and we will run again uh, smith 99 one two three go good uh what we need to do next is go to students click on todd for example and remove it's gone okay yeah so uh yeah so this data entry um this is the students okay so all looks fine i guess let's so we'll stop this <coughs> and go here done okay so i think we reached into a critical point where we have to not a critical well, there's nothing critical about this uh to the point where we will have to start working with the web uh, application okay um so um we just finished uh the basic um class here um and uh, our next step is to work with the web interface i did a number of uh i i think i did a number of mistakes in the design here because i'm defining the student table as a separate table i don't think i should have done that maybe i can um rectify this by merging the tables somehow okay uh, regardless i will not work on the website now uh, I will ma I'll postpone this to the next tutorial so that it will be all about uh, defining or designing uh, the website. Okay, uh, database design might need some modifications. So you can see here, I created a separate table. This one has student ID password. Well, we already have these. I can't remember why I separated the design here, but um, I can add this password column here and uh, fix everything so in the next tutorial i'll be doing that i'll be fixing the student information class by adding the password into the database and updating the members and stuff like that and also we will start working on the website itself um, hopefully you'll find this tutorial useful if you have questions send them to notes at mkdicef.com thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye sorry